Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to JCP, the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. Doesn't look like much here, but actually this was a really nice play today on a day when there really wasn't much to do. Monday morning, you never know what you're going to get exactly because you don't have earnings the night before. It's the weekend. Mondays are usually slow to get the volume into the market, into stocks. But I spotted this today, and boy, you know, it was a really good read that I had on this right out of the gate. And I don't even know how I saw this was going to do this today, but but I did. I saw that it was a nice short. I've been seeing this was going to be a short like any second. I mean, it was a short all up here into this level of resistance. And I knew it was going to be a short even after this move here, which I called like about a month ago. But, you know, today that I got to hand it to myself. I mean, this was a really nice read of this price action here today from where the stock opened because it actually is a continuation of the overall move of this chart. But this actually gapped up today. OK, so the stock closed at Friday at 770 and gapped up this morning. But I shorted it anyways because I saw it was still lower and had the follow through and it is still lower. I uh, had a nice exit on this, a very easy peasy play today in JCP, but a nice risk to reward. Even did the ad, which was kind of aggressive considering that this is not a bearish down gap today. It's really a continuation of the overall chart here of this stock being weak. And I just had a really nice uh, read on this today. More and more as I am developing into a more detailed uh, reader of price action, I'm spotting things so easily in that first reaction of the morning period of the day of how a stock trades and acts at certain numbers to see what it's going to do. And it's the overall level of this thing. You can see here where the stock gapped up this morning. But it gapped up because the market gapped up. And it gapped up right to resistance. And it held and fell out of the gate right away into the morning period. So the stock had a quick short in here in the morning. You could have gotten all out down here into 945. Or you could have been in all day and actually was in it to, to get the move, to see where it was going to go. Um, actually did not break the low of Friday. 753 was a low today. 752 was a low on Friday. This is still lower, though, on the overall daily chart. You know, the next number for this is here. But actually now that if it breaks 750 or once it breaks 750, I think it's going to go right down to $7. And here's the thing. I don't know how this is going to set up. The stock may just gap under 7 or under 750 and go. Or it could trade under it on the day. I don't know. But there is, it's definitely going to break 7. The thing is, I mean, when that happens, the stock could collapse or all the way down here to $6. I mean, it could collapse all the way down here to six thirty or six dollars once it breaks this area. So anything's possible for this. The stock can have a big move. This bar over here, the day this thing collapsed, was you know this is a dollar seventy something for that bar. So yeah, I mean this is very possible that once this breaks seven, this could come down here to six bucks. I just don't know how it's going to formulate itself, and I'm definitely going to be watching it. Nice short today in JCP. Let's go over the one minute chart. And had a great exit. Let's go over the one minute here. So this is one of these charts where you watch the stock. You're waiting for it to break. You could be in this as a core swing trade or a uh, long-term trade. You could be in this so many different things. Watching every day for a day trade, doing it as a swing trade, doing it as a core trade. There's so many different ways to play this stock. Again, I like to do day trades, but I call the swing trade and the core trade in this, and it's on the way to the target at 6 bucks and, and further, actually. So the aggressive short in this would have been right here under 93. I saw it as it was hitting here at 90. And stock would have been over the high of the day. Waited till it came all the way down here to see if it rallied some, and then did it here at 84. Uh, this would have been very aggressive to do, but I saw it setting up. And I called it here at 90. So 84, initial stop, I wanted to give it enough room, okay? But you could have had it tight here, actually. This would have been fine if this held all day. Came in, came in, came in, and again, it was just a nice easy trade that fell over. Fell over and did the ad here. I actually did the ad on the 60. Did the ad here in the 60 minute, this is late, okay? 
and then I lower the stop. I lower the stop two pennies over the original entry price. Okay, so you could have actually taken the trade, not done the ad, just lowered the stop to break even, and gotten the whole move. Okay, so from the original position size, it was a full three R trade. And then if you did the ad, you would have even made it better because you could have doubled your position size or more actually, taken this down, lowered the stop, taken more to try to maximize this full on move here, which is only 20 some cents. But again, if you do the ad and your price was at 85 and then you add it at 75, it ends up being much better. And then you're lowering the stop and you have a smaller stop. So I was watching this area down here because the day was getting late to see if it was going to break Friday's low. I went to double the bottom there and it didn't. And as late in the day it was, I just got out. So it was a nice trade here in JCP. We watch this again tomorrow. Again, I don't know if this sets up where it breaks by gapping down or just continuing to trade down. Let's look here, I'll show you. Here it is. Double bottom, 315, reversal time, one penny over the previous bar is high, one penny from the target from Friday from the first target out. Just Perfect exit. Every once in a while you get a perfect exit on something because it goes right to a number at a time at, and does everything it's supposed to do. It tells you you should get out. And that's really what this did today. Actually did that Friday in the afternoon trade Friday too if you did it in the afternoon Friday. So I had traded this Friday in the morning. You could have traded it all day Friday. Today I ended up trading it all day just because I was waiting for it to break and it paid. It paid. It was a nice trade here and start out the week. Again, it's earnings season now. Second quarter earnings season really gets going now this week where there's going to be lots and lots and lots of things to do starting like Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then it's just going to be busy, busy, busy for the next six to eight weeks, which will be wonderful and fabulous to trade gaps. So be on the lookout for this JCP. It's going to break $7. And I think when it does, it falls off a cliff. It's very important, though, when you're doing something like I did today that you know how to read price because this was... This was not easy today. I don't know how I even saw this was going to work today, but I did. And sometimes I just see something in the live moment when it trades, see the number, see how it hits, read the chart, and go for it. And that's what I did today. It's just you know a combination of how I know how to read charts, price, and gaps. And again, this was a gap up today, but it is a bearish chart. No one should be buying JCP at all. It is a short. It is a definitive short. And the nice thing about this chart is that I really am following the institutional selling and shorting in the stock. There was no institutional buying that made this gap up here or the screen bar here. Okay, The power and the momentum of the institutions in this stock is to the downside. You always want to trade with institutional moves and money. That's how you will make money. That's how you get momentum. That's how you can take entries like I took today in something like this that was you know, very aggressive for the overall picture here, the position of the chart of the gap today in this. It was aggressive to do, but I'm waiting for it to fall off a cliff, and it's going to do it just soon here, I know. And even if it rallies back, it's not going to recover, and it will break this area. It's, you know, this thing is on its way down. Really nice short in JCP today and Friday as well. Follow-through move, the nice chart in this. Again, following the institutional selling and shorting in this stock in JCP. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you would like to learn how to read price action, gaps, and overall trends in stocks, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. This is a really nice chart here in JCP. The next Golden Gap class is April 26 and 27. If you'd like more information on how to sign up for that class to be able to learn how to trade gaps for second quarter earnings season here in April and May, then feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a fantastic day.